There are anything between 193 and 222 countries in the world, depending on how you define a country. And every one of them has a government, or as economists prefer to call it, a public sector. And the public sector is intimately involved in the economy of every country. We're going to investigate this a little more to see if we can better understand the role of government in the economy. In South Africa, as in many countries, the public sector consists of central government, provincial government, local government and public corporations. Central government consists of the various government departments. The Department of Defence is always a big one, the Department of Education is another, the Department of Health, Foreign Affairs and about 33 other departments ranging from arts and culture to correctional services. The central government oversees all important national issues from defence to home affairs and the South African Revenue Service. But it also focuses on managing our international relationships with as many other nations as possible around the world. Provincial and local governments deal with the administration of South Africa's nine provinces, metropolitan councils, municipalities and district councils. Provincial government is mainly concerned with regional issues such as housing, health, services and education. Local governments deal with local issues, the provision management of sewerage systems, local roads, street lighting, traffic controls and so on. The central government and the provincial and local governments are collectively known as the general government. The final government participation in the economy comes in the form of public corporations or public enterprises. Now these are firms or businesses that are controlled by government. In South Africa they include ESCOM, the Industrial Development Corporation or IDC, the SABC, Transnet, Telcom and others. These business entities or parastatals are owned and run by the government, the public sector. In some ways Governments are run on the same principles as other businesses in the private sector. They provide a good or service to the market, and the market pays for that service. 